Dear friends, this lecture is concerned about some basic ideas which will help to solve the problem in normal distribution. We know that the normal curve is bell shaped and it is unimodular and it has a maximum value at z equal to 0 and it moves from minus infinity to infinity. Since it is a continuous distribution, but still we know the result is what? 1. The total area is going to be 1. So now, from this property symmetric about the line z equal to 0, the right hand side area is 0.5 and the left hand side area is also 0.5. And then, now, to solve the problems, it is very tough to do the integration for normal distribution. So, that's why Gauss have found a table which gives the solution without doing any integration. So, I'll show the table here. So, the table value starts from 0, 0.0 and it ends at 3. So now the first column is like, suppose you want to find the area for 0.15. So 0 0.1 is this and 5. The second decimal is given in the first row. So the answer is 0 0.0596. Like this you have to find the table value. And the table is given in your examinations. You can use it. Okay. So now we will go back here. Okay, so now how to solve the problem? What are all the different situations can be given in the problem? Let us see. We will do one by one. So first of all, I will take probability of Z greater than 1. I will take a number better. Okay, uh, in books or materials, they will give some A, etc. I will directly give a number which is most helpful for you to find the table as well as to understand the concept very easy. So now let us take the diagram. I want to find the area z greater than 1. So this is minus infinity to infinity. So since the midline is z equal to 0, z equal to 1 may be somewhere here. Okay, let us draw. z equal to 1 is somewhere here. Now what I want to find, I want to find the area z greater than 1. So this is the area I have to find. But now the problem is, my table contains area value from 0 to 3. But now my area is what? z greater than 1 means it is going to be up to infinity. But I can't find the solution using the table. But the simple way is, I know my area. What is the area of 1 of this 1 of as area what? 0 0.5. So now, if I take this 0 0.5 and if I subtract this region that lies between 0 to 1. Okay, that green region which I am showing. So now the green region is going to be 0 to 1. If I subtract 0 0.5 with this green region, automatically I will get what? The red region. That's it guys. So it is going to be very simple. Now 0 to 1. Immediately I will go to the table and I will find the value. So it is 1.00. I am going to consider this column alone. So 1.00 is 0.3413. So my answer is going to be 0 point minus, sorry, 0 0.5 minus 0.3413. That's it guys. So now you understand. When something, uh, in general people speak, when z greater than a and a is a positive integer, then I always say 0.5 minus 
probability of zero less than a. So this is the first point you have to understand. Hope you got the point. Now the second point. If suppose I am getting z less than one, z less than one. What I have to do? Let us do this. So z equal to zero. This is infinity. This is minus infinity. I'll take the line. And here I'm drawing the approximate line. Okay, it need not to be very precise or very accurate. Okay. Now I draw the line z equal to one. But what it is said z less than one. So z less than one means this will cover up to minus infinity. Okay, but I am doing. Are two different colors, two different regions. The reason is this pink region which I am shading now. It is already known from the beginning. I said this area is what zero point five. Why I am doing this? Because my table contains only positive value. My table don't have any negative value, and I know that. Normal curve is symmetric about the line z equal to zero. It's like a mirror image. Okay, so I don't want to calculate this pink region. I am just writing zero point five plus the green region is what probability of z less than one. Just now we found the value for what the area zero to one in the normal distribution table. So three four one three. That's it, guys. Now, in general, if z less than a, a is any positive integer, what I will do? Point five plus zero less than a. So, just a simple idea. Whenever you get greater than, what you have to do? You have to subtract. Whenever you get less than, you have to add. So you can think like greater than a means richer people. For rich people, will take the money from them. If they are poor people, give the money to them. Okay. So 0.5 minus 0.5 plus. You can remember like this. Okay. Next. The third one. Now, if they say probability of mod is at less than a, and do you remember, guys, in continuous distribution, less than a or less than or equal to a, all are same. Why? Because probability at a particular point in continuous distribution is always zero. Great. Okay. So now that means mod is at less than a means what? Z lies between minus a to plus a, so zero to a. Now I will take the value a. I'll take the value minus a. Okay. Now I have to shade the region. It is between minus a to a. So let us see how to solve this. Again, what I said, we have to split the problem into two equal halves because I always go from zero. So I'll write minus a to zero plus zero to a. We know the symmetric property, right? Minus a to zero or zero to a, both are same. So by the symmetry, I can write this as what? It is going to be equal to zero to a. Again, zero to a. So my answer is going to be two times probability of zero to 
a is it clear guys now instead of a if you have one you can easily find the area hope it is clear next suppose i'll take a number now it will be easy for you it lies between 0 to sorry it lies between minus 2 to 1 so what you have to do again let us draw the diagram and listen guys diagram consists of some mark and it is mandatory to draw the diagram in the exams okay so now i'll take the line z equal to 1 and i'll take the line z equal to minus minus 2 so now this is one region the right hand side region 0 to 1 it is done now we are going for the left hand side region this left hand region is minus 2 to 0 okay I think from the previous case we are familiar how to do this how to handle this it is minus 2 to 0 region 1 that is the red region and 0 to 1 that is the green region okay so by symmetric property we can simply say what by the symmetric property i will say it is going to be 0 less than 2 and here i can say 0 less than 1 so in the previous problem like minus a to a so we had it here we have different values let's go and crack the values in the table so 2.0 it's simply 2.00 so second decimal is also 0 and 4772 now i'll come back here 0.4772 just now in the first problem we find the area between 0 to 1 what it is 0 0.3413 so now we found the area between minus 2 to 1 the previous one minus a to a okay now what we have to do suppose i am getting like this suppose i am getting z less than minus 1 this may also happen okay but it is very easy hope now you have cracked the answer in your mind let us write z equal to 0 is infinity minus infinity so minus 1 somewhere here z equal to minus 1 so now my region is what this is my region so i said it has symmetric property area between minus 1 to minus infinity it is going to be same when you draw a line here and when you say z equal to 1 to infinity okay when you say z equal to 1 to infinity both are going to be what the same okay because of the symmetric property so what i am going to do now instead of finding the negative area i'm going for positive why because my table contains only positive values but still the green region is infinity so just now we remember the first case if it is infinity or okay i'll write more precious so probability of z less than minus one i can say is it greater than one is it clear guys now we know the trick greater than means richer guy from the richer guy what i will do i will take the money okay 0 0.5 minus so i am going to subtract if it is less than one is a poor guy let us give some money we have to add 0.5 plus okay it's purely for your remembrance okay there is no mathematics here so z less than one that's it now as usual just now from the table we know the value i can find this 
is it clear guys so what we did now we see uh, different ideas first one is when mod is at greater than 1 second one sorry not mod is at z greater than 1 and second one z less than 1 third one we see mod is at less than a and fourth one we see we see z less than minus 1 now there may be the case ah, fifth one we see something minus 2 to 1 so all the possibilities we see sometime they can ask like this probability of mod z greater than a so nothing to worry we know the formula what is it it is simply 1 minus probability of mod z less than or equal to a now after doing this what you have to do we have to map this data with this case so this video concerned with all kind of possibilities to draw the diagram and find the area for z what is z standard normal variate okay in the next session we are going to see how to solve the problems on normal distribution thanks for your patience and watching the video till the end thank you so much guys subscribe our channel and support our channel thank you